What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today we're going to be taking a look at some awesome stuff available now at eKnives. If you are not familiar with eKnives, definitely familiarize yourself with them. They have some awesome stuff. They do a lot of USA stuff and uh, I've enjoyed shopping with them for years now. Actually, since before I started the channel. Um, it's just been a while since I have returned to their website to see what they've got, so I thought it would be fun. Um, they obviously have Black Friday deals, so um, make sure you check those out. Thanks so much to my patrons for supporting me, and please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. I will make sure that this uh, website is linked down in the description so that you guys can check this stuff out for yourself if you don't want to sit here and listen to me talk, which is perfectly understandable. But uh, for those of you who want to hang around, let's go ahead and get started. I'm curious to see what their Black Friday deals are. Uh, okay, ton mail convert, so discounts on some custom stuff, Manticore E, yeah, I'm looking for some, Nimravis for 150 I'm not actually not sure what the original price of that was, hmm, hmm, looking for something that stands out as an obvious deal. Uh, the nice thing about e-knives, and part of the reason why, you know, I started putting their links in my description is because they uh, usually have interesting things that are not available in very many other places. Sometimes it is completely and totally unique to eKnives. And I don't mean like exclusives. I mean, um, a lot of the stuff that they get is like oddball variants of popular knives. And it's kind of eKnives is rewarding in if you like to go through different retailers and search back multiple pages to try and find something unique because you will almost always find something unique at eKnives. Um, you know, if you're looking for a very, very specific, like, you know, for example, like a, an OTF from Microtech and you're, you, you're just, you've been hunting out this oddball variant, right? Um, it's, uh, eKnives is one of the places that is more likely to have it because I, I don't know if the owners like intentionally order weird stuff, um, or if they go out of their way to, you know, make special orders or something. I'm, I'm not really sure. Anyways, the Black Friday tab, um, might have some deals in it if, you know, you guys are more familiar with some of these custom knives than I am. Um, but, uh, I think for now I'm going to look through what they have in their new arrivals section. We have more of these uh, Protect Terzuola ATCF automatic knives. Those things are, I, that is probably the most powerful side opening uh, Protec. Not all pro almost all Protecs are side opening. That's probably the most powerful Protec that I have ever handled. It's freaking expensive, <laughs> but it is DLC Magna Cut. And then, oh, this is a pre owned one. I forgot that they do that sometimes. Is that a uh, Cleric 2 in red? Huh. I didn't know that they did that. Interesting. Okay. Manticore E, that's the medium sized one. I think it's about the same size as like the Troodon. That is cool. Look at that. That is freaking cool. Oh man, I really like that. <laughs> that is awesome. I just reviewed this knife. These are in Magna Cut. 4.25 inches of Magna Cut, nearly 10 inches overall. Made in the USA. Um, so Apparently, these inlays are stainless steel. It's so weird. The magnet doesn't act like, you know, it's hyper attracted to the inlay. The only time the magnet wants to suck against the knife, the one that I handled, is when the blade is retracted into the handle, which is what made me think that and the weight made me think there's no way that this is stainless steel. But it says textured. Well, it doesn't say stainless steel. It just says stainless inlay. I don't, I don't know what the... See, it says red aluminum textured metal. But what is the metal? What is the inlay? No idea. Really cool, though. I like that red one. That's what I mean. I have not seen that, right? Or this. What the heck? The pink uh, pink and black um, Tri-Grip Ultratech. Uh, Microtech needs to start making more Ultratechs with um, the Tri-Grip stuff. I'm not specifically interested in this one. Maybe you are. That's fine. Nothing against pink. Just not my thing. But I do like the, the tri-grip texturing, and I wish that Microtech would just do that on more stuff. Moving on here. They have uh, the brachial, if you didn't know. They also have 
God dang it. If I was going to buy a freaking Zavenza. Oh, boy. That is nice. Look at that. I am not a Sabenza fan, but this one is tempting. Boy, that's nice. S45VN, large 31 with micarta. 600 big boys, though. Um, that's not a thing that people say. People don't call dollars big boys, but, you know, I I, I guess I do. Um, the Bassinelli, uh, I'm sorry, the, the, the Brachial, it's Microtech and Bassinelli. Um, but, uh, yeah, that thing is... <laughs> if you want a Microtech side opening automatic that you can actually EDC, perhaps you own the stitch and you're like, I love it, but it's freaking huge. Um, the Brachial actually works for EDC and is just as powerful um, as the uh, as the stitch. Uh, that is a wicked, wicked USA side opening OTF. Holy moly, look at that Wraith. That is freaking wild, man. Timascus looks like pearl. Yeah, Mother of Pearl inlay, mirror polished. Oof, boy. Fat carbon. Crazy. Somebody got their fingers in that picture. <laughs> Let's take a look at that. Ooh, man, that is pretty. Look at that uh, Mother of Pearl um, inlay on the backspacer, uh, on the other side of the knife, and on the firing button. That is really pretty. Wow. I like the... Um, I like the uh, the layout. What, what am I trying to say here? The um, uh, the, the lines, I guess, on the, on the wraith. I think it looks good. Sorry, I'm fighting a little bit of. Uh, it's it's not like a, it's like an annoying like face cold. Um, so if my voice sounds different, sorry. Probably one of the better looking Hera's that I've seen. Um, I mean, the Hera is just for whatever reason is just ex ridiculously expensive. I have no idea. Why? Why? Because it has a, a titanium clip? I, outside of that, I, I, I don't get it, right? But, I mean, if you're going to pick one up, you might as well go for it, right? That, that's that's probably the best looking hair I've ever seen. Um, What is this? Oh, the Daytona with the bubble inlay. It says bronze stonewash. That looks like regular stonewash. What is the Daytona? It looks like a UTX-85. All right. Well, there's a Daytona there. Um, oh, man. Oh, 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 no. Don't do this to me. Oh, God, those are beautiful. <laughs> we have uh, <laughs> the, we've got uh, Marfion custom automatic stitches. And um, for the first time in a while, we actually have, man, if I had $5,000 uh, to blow on a pocket knife, oh, God. My dream is to own a stitch one day. And the problem here is, well, that they're $5,000. <laughs> uh, I don't agree with the price on these, but... Oh my God, look at that grind. That is ridiculous. Uh, for those of you who need a compound swedge, um, there it is. It's not even, no, I mean, yeah, I guess we, do we still call that compound? What is the color of the thing here? Distressed titanium and, uh, oh, they, well, they call the grind dual star grind. Interesting. Um, Eh, eh, eh. Uh, this looks purpley blue to me. If it was blue, I mean, I, I wouldn't mind the purple. Honestly, I'd want the whole thing one color, right? Um, that is gorgeous, though. Uh, let's take a look at this. Um, ugh, 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 ugh. So this is like a black mirror uh, finish. I'm pretty sure, like this area right here on the flats, it's probably more of a satin. But yeah, like on the swedge and on the final grinds there. I believe that's mirror. They call that diamond wash. That is freaking gorgeous. I uh, can't say that it makes me want to spend $4,800, but the the truth is, is that these will sell. Um, they are these, these custom stitches and uh, the, um, the custom auto stitch through um, Microtech are absurdly popular. 
they will eventually sell. I mean, you know, for, for those of you like snorting in disgust at that price and letting yourself get upset about it, don't, don't, don't waste, don't waste your energy. Um, they, they will sell. <laughs> it's not going to be me. Um, but uh, yeah, they will. UTX 85 Hellhound and a UTX 70 Warhound. I don't think, I don't think I've ever seen a, a UTX 70 Warhound. Um, I know that I, I knew that they existed. I don't, I've just never seen one in stock. Um, that's kind of neat. <laughs> so is the, I gotta be honest here. I've seen these around the RMJ tactical Kestrel, uh, dirty olive G10 Tomahawk. It's in tungsten. Is that really the material? Anyways, what I was saying, I didn't finish my sentence. I kind of, I kind of like this. I have no use for it, but it's pretty cool. Um, Blade Steel is 80 CRV2 with a tungsten Cerakote finish. Interesting. Okay. I'm sure it's tough as nails and really good at choppy uh, tasks. They also have the SOCOM Alpha Mini. Oh, that's the Mini, but still, it's not a Mini knife, though. This is, I, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, that has a freaking ridiculously thick grind on it too. Uh, they're not gonna say how thick the blade stock is, but I'm pretty sure it's between 190 thousandths and a quarter inch. Oh, they also have the SOCOM Alpha if you want. It's been a while since I've seen SOCOM Alphas as well. Is uh, obviously they are um, a big uh, <laughs> Microtech dealer. What is this? <laughs> What am I? What am I looking at? A zirconium truck. <laughs> do you <laughs> do you need a zirconium truck? E knives has got it. A small eight hundred and fifty dollars zirconium truck. What? <laughs> what? What is this? Oh my gosh! Is this just like a block of zirconium? The brainchild of Mike Bond of TI2 or TI2 design and Michael Miller of Fox Hanks. That's literally all the information we get. No context. Here it is. Here's a truck. Here you <laughs> here you go. It's $850. I, I mean, it, it's cool for sure. I don't need it, you know, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna come down on, on somebody who you know wants it. Um, there it is. I wish we had more information. I'm dying to know what the, who came up with that and why, right? Uh, that's really random. <laughs> they actually have a blue Sapphire, uh, ProTech in stock. It's a new port. Um, so if you've been trying to get something in the blue Sapphire finish, there you go. What is the steel? Black aluminum, sapphire. Yeah, but what's the steel? Can we see? Can we zoom in? I can't. Oh, it says, I think I can see it right there. Does it say S35VN? How do you zoom up on a freaking, there we go. Yeah, it's S35VN. Okay. I was going to say, I'm, I knew the new ports were a, something else, something a little bit weird. So if you've been looking for something from ProTech and Blue Sapphire, there you go. They have a Whiskers. Uh, I haven't seen that for a little bit. Is that, um, that's the Bayer slip joint. Yeah, and DLC, Magna Cut. That is pretty cool. Um, wow, that is expensive. But that is one of the nicer, cooler um, uh, slip joints, like modern slip joints, if you're going for USA. Um, it's an Exocet in rose gold PVD. <laughs> oh boy. That's it. This is why. This is why I like to look through. I, I I always put a lot of distance between these videos when I look through um, e knives, but um, I just love looking through because there's so much absolutely insane stuff. And I've uh, many times have gone through not expecting to buy something and have just bought something. You know, um, the new uh, I think it's Jared Oser the F22 Kickstop. I think these have been fairly popular. There's a whole bunch here. If you're looking for something specific, some of these look like variants that I have not seen elsewhere. Oh boy. 
<laughs> it's the sprinkles version of the Troodon. When I was freaking out about the um, the uh, Dessert Warrior Ultra Tech that was coming soon to Blade HQ, you guys were telling me, oh, you should see the Combat Troodon. And I did not know about this. This is a $2,000. Here's the thing. Again, uh, the people snorting angrily in disgust, right? Snort away, snorty boys. Listen, this knife, whether you like it or not, you know, what, no matter how many tears you weep over this thing, no matter how dehydrated you get from crying your face out all over the floor over it, uh, it will sell. And then in the future, uh, it will actually appreciate in value. And then it will sell again for even more money. I know, I know. There's not enough tears in your body, right? You can't, I could, you couldn't possibly cry enough over that information. Um, but it's, it's true, right? So don't, don't waste your emotions. Do not cry your face or your pants over this. It just is. It just exists, right? It's kind of like, you know, uh, it, the, the sun factually, Will well, our, our I I don't think our sun will explode. I think it, it'll turn into a red giant and consume the earth at some point, and then it will uh, slowly shrivel away and turn into a, like some kind of white dwarf or something like. I don't know, but it's it's not a fact that's pleasant, right? It, at some point, however many hundreds of millions or, or billions of years in the future uh, this occurs, it will it will happen, right? It's not a pleasant thing to know. Uh, but it, it's just it just is a fact, right? So the sun consuming the earth one day is is a fact that is much like the fact that this um, this thing exists and will uh, sell for this eventually and more than that one day. So you're just gonna have to accept it. <laughs> uh, I think it's funny, honestly. Um, and I I mean, it, me and many people who are like me get an infinite amount of enjoyment reading the angry comments on Instagram underneath this of, of people who are just so furious that it exists, right? <laughs> it's not serious. Oh, knives are serious. Uh, they just can't handle it. Um, you should, uh, you should go. And I'm not talking about this specifically, but like anything that's got the dessert warrior finish. Um, if you go and, and, you know, find a picture of one on Instagram that's being sold by a retailer, uh, treat yourself to the comment section because there are a lot of um, there are a lot of uh, thoroughly cried pants uh, in the comment section. <laughs> Combat Troodon in OD Green. Uh, that's actually a good looking Troodon if you want something that is not as aggressive as the sprinkle version. Did I just miss a page? What happened? Okay. Uh, I want to make sure that I didn't miss a page. How do I go back? No, I don't. I didn't miss a page. That was page two. Okay. What on earth? Page three, please. There we go. Okay. That's why I flashed something random in front of me. Uh, Microtech Daytona and carbon fiber and bronze. Eh, okay. Uh, Dirac and camo. Actually, the handles camo as well. They get a whole bunch of new ports. Um, there's still a SOCOM Bravo. These are now priced correctly. Somebody pointed out that for a little bit, e knives had these like really, really high, and they must have fixed it. I, I don't, I don't think that that was on purpose. <laughs> I think that they probably just had them mispriced or something. But these are now down to the, you know, the actual like the re, the, the price that I think most people have them at. Um, they have come up, but this price bump is we've seen this across the board at retailers. Uh, on the SOCOM Bravo. That is a knife absolutely worth owning, by the way, if you've been on the fence about it. I absolutely love mine. More Dirax, more UTX 70s, UTX 70 Hellhound. Um, Borka. Oh, there's a bit crazy Borkas down there. Uh, there's a TR5, um, uh, which is not something that we see very often. Uh, Rip Knives Custom Fury Super C. Okay. Rip knives. Hmm. This side of the knife looks 
um, aggressively like a strider. Normally, I'm um, really reserved when I say, you know, that looks like a copy of the, you know, and it's because um, I, you know, if something has ultra, ultra generic lines, I just, I find it hilarious that people say it looks like a copy of the, I'm like, no, it looks like a copy of knife in the dictionary, right? It's just, it got straight handle, straight blade. It's not a copy of anything, right? Um, so it takes some pretty distinct lines to look like a copy of something. Now, there are obviously some differences between this and a strider. Let's get a look at those uh, serrations there. There are obviously some differences between this and a strider. However, um, this does look very, very similar. Um, okay. I don't know. I don't know anything about that company. It just looks very much like a strider. We have some Medfords, a whole bunch of Medfords. There's another, that's a large Inkosi, left-handed. If you've been looking for that, there you go. Small Sabenza, unique graphic, more unique graphic. Small Sabenza, small Sabenza. Custom Colossus by, I'd like to handle the Colossus by Heretic Knives. Is there a production version of it? I would like to know. The only ones I have ever seen have been custom. Um, Peter Carey. CRKT Ken Onion Hijinks. What is this? It must be rare. Pre-owned. Titanium! What? What is this? Sleipner steel. Sleipner, Sleipner. Uh, 60 to 61 Rockwell. Uh, Rockwell. Um, titanium, yeah. I think this is uh, just a rare CRKT. <laughs> That's actually kind of neat. Huh, interesting. Must be a manual flipper there. Macora. God, I wish the Macora was longer. I'd own one. If uh, if they made the Macora, ooh, no. Oh, God, I thought that was it. It's a Troodon. I'm trying to find one of these. I'm trying to find this exactly in a combat Troodon. The bronze and the... Uh, and, and, you know, I know people are going to reach out to me saying, I've got one for sale if you want to pay like 200 extra. No, I don't want to. Um, I don't want it that bad. But as soon as I find one at a retailer, this exact this exact setup and a combat showed on, I literally would have stopped the video and bought it. <laughs> but that's what it, this is. Whenever I look through e-knives, that's what I expect to find is something that I, you know, just want to buy right then and there. Um, blah, 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 blah. Ultra Tech Spartan. That's a cool uh, Spartan. Red and black. Let's keep going here. Oof. 1911 uh, grips in copper. Oof, man, it's going to be some heavy grips there. Excuse me. <laughs> my, my nose. Let's go to page five here. Let's see if the. <laughs> see if there's anything else. Oh my gosh. You know, uh, for what this is, I'm actually kind of shocked that it's only 2,500 bucks. This is this right here is exactly why I look at a custom stitch and I think I love it, but I will never pay $5,000 for it. Look at this. This is ridiculous. If you're gonna pay $2,500 for a knife, right? Oh man, thorn ladder Damascus, <laughs> hot blued. Oh man, that is sick. <laughs> Look at that. That is crazy. I know people are gonna say, oh, it's gaudy. It looks like a gas station knife. You don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, no, just because it's blue, right? What it actually is made out of is, is what's attractive. It's not that it's shiny, right? This is freaking crazy. What is what, what is this? Oh, it's wow, it's almost nine inches. Push button automatic. That is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. It's almost a freaking deal at twenty five hundred dollars. I don't think I've ever said that. I've never seen a twenty five hundred dollar knife where I thought, you know what? That's uh, that's a bargain. <laughs> but I've, that's crazy. I've seen stuff like this that's well over five thousand dollars. That is awesome. I love how I love that. Uh, the the hot blue Damascus is absolutely sick. <laughs> Uh, moving on here, there's a Borka I've just never thought looked very good. And also like, dude, why? 
six thousand five hundred dollars. I uh, Borka knives are nice, and I have handled a stitch uh, on this channel, and it was beautiful. And I love how it's made. It's 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 very obviously high quality. Six thousand five hundred dollars. I mean, we have looks like some engraving, right? I'm sure that's done by hand. Um, and the blade finish is hand rub satin, and it's CPM one fifty four. Um, cool. Uh, kind of looks like, you know, a rhinoceros that like, you know, leaned over to get a drink of water and was run over by a dump truck. Um, and then someone was like, hmm, how about $6,500 for this? Uh, eh, you know, those are, uh, to my knowledge, handmade with some, uh, CNC. And then this one has some extra handwork in it. Don't, I, I just, these prices are just kind of, you know, wow, holy moly. There's a Dwayne Dwyer custom here, which is not, usually I only see those on Arizona custom knives. Um, Protec SBR. That's fixed though. Yeah, that's fixed. Is that, that's the small Harzy. Okay. Ultramar Tac. I actually like those. I keep saying that whenever I come across them. I like the tack. I think it's cool. Spartan Harzy. There's the big boys. If you're looking for, um, like, for example, an all black one or an all stonewashed one, they have them. Uh, these are uh, absolutely, absolutely worth it. They are built um, very similarly. It's, it's kind of like an alternate universe hinderer. Uh, and they are in between the size of an XM18 and an XM24. They just have better cutting geometry. S45 VN and titanium, and they run on phosphor bronze. Um, these are, you know, full USA uh, production knives. Very nice. Unique graphics, it looks like, or you can go with full DLC or stone washed. This is a good price for this. $465. I mean, you know, think about what it costs right now to get uh, Sebenza or, or a full tie XM18, right? Uh, this is perfectly reasonable. It's one of the best priced USA knives on the market. Like, and when I say USA, I mean like actually everything is a, you know, I know it's like, like oh, I, I got a USA knife and I only paid $120 for it. You got a knife that was like maybe like 51% made in the United States, but a lot of the parts were outsourced and they were made in a way that allows for mass production. Uh, so large batch, very little hands-on, probably still a great knife, right? But there's a reason. There's a reason it costs so much less. It's not just because the company you bought from is charitable and just really wants to do the right thing. No, it's because it costs substantially less to make. This is in a different caliber. Um, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just saying, like, this is, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to justify this stuff because I know these are made, like, 99.9% .9 in the USA. Sure, go off neon. That must be a custom because it's like, eh, man, I don't know. I don't know why that one's so much. Small Sabenza, unique graphic. More Medfords. I'm still looking. This is a nice texture. I think this is the exclusive. Yeah, I want to highlight this. That is a really good looking knife. Um, and these are USA. Uh, these are magna cut and the hex pattern is exclusive to e knives. Let me tell you why I like this. They did this the way that I always say it looks the best, where they mill this line, this border, right? So instead of the texture just coming out to the edge and then it just kind of turning into nothingness, which is what it look what it's like on on like my hinderer knives, they have this border and the, the pattern ends at the border and it looks really good. This is probably the best looking version of this knife that I have seen. Um, I, I really like that. And again, these are full USA. Less titanium, less material than the Spartan Harzy, right? So there's the total justification uh, for it being less. I mean, it's just a lot less to machine. Um, but uh, yeah, absolutely. And these are titanium liner locks as well. So really really fantastic edc profile i have one and i love it it's just the regular like tactile texture i like kind of like their pens 
Um, but uh, yeah, that that right there is beautiful. Ooh, man, look at that Vulcan finish on that. Um, I still, I'm a sucker for this. Uh, these the finish uh, on the look at that uh, the polished tie hardware. I I love the Vulcan finish, um, which is less of a finish, and it's just like the product of like not. You know, after they, I think after they heat treat the blades, it's just like what 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 it looks like, and they found a way to like make it like kind of control it a little more. Um, it looks good. Uh, I just I just like those. I want to see what else they have for exclusive. Oh, that pink and black Ultra Tech is is an exclusive. Okay, I didn't realize. They also have an X Series Trapper in blue denim. That is an exclusive. Some sort of bead there. Yeah. I mean, if you like pink and black, that Ultratech is pretty, you know, it's going to be right up your alley. Um, their exclusives are cool. I think E-Knives should, should, should do more exclusives when they get the chance. I'm sure that's easier said than done. But the one, the one to pay attention to is this one right here, the Hex Pattern Rock Wall. That's pretty sweet. Okay, um, this has gone on for a while now. <laughs> like I said, if you want to check out the knives at E-Knives, uh, make sure you use the links down in the description. It does help my channel. Uh, lots of cool stuff there. If you are, you know, if 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 this is your first time experiencing e-knives, um, they are awesome and they carry a lot of really cool stuff. And I just feel like um, e-knives is nowhere near as popular as they should be. Um, so you know, make sure and check them out. Your next uh, your next purchase, right? If you're already planning on making a purchase, see if e-knives. Um, has what you're looking for and give them a shot because their customer service is excellent. Um, they ship very quickly um, and uh, I've always been happy with them. So anyways, hope you all uh, have an excellent uh, or hope you're all, you're all having an excellent weekend. That's going to be pretty much it today. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do of course have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do not like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.